is Lee from So Lily Bells. This is floss tube number 16. It's going to be a quick one. My um, camera and my laptop seem to be having problems when I do the long videos at the moment and they won't edit correctly. Um, so this is going to be quick. We're going to whiz through it all and hopefully um, the technology will work with me. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I've got finishes, finishes people, finishes to show you. Um, I've got one whip that I've been working on because I've had a few finishes, plural finishes, and um, the giveaways to do, and I think that's about it. So let's, we'll get straight on. So I was working on the Halloween piece from the Cross Stitcher magazine, and I was almost done last time uh, I spoke to you guys. So here is a picture of what it looked like last time. And here is a picture of what it looks like now completed. I'm so pleased with it. I might actually frame this one and um, put it up next Halloween. Um, it's got some silver thread here and it has some gold down here and around. Um, but it's really nice, it's really bright. And I really like it. These bits here, oh, these caused me quite a bit of pain putting these silver bits in. I just couldn't, I don't know why it was, the pattern was easy to read, but I really struggled getting them symmetrical. I don't think they are actually symmetrical. I think this one's slightly rounder and this one's slightly thinner, but never mind. But I'm really pleased with it. So I finished that one. Um, and then I decided to do some smalls. So I started, um, these two. Um, this is a free pattern and I got it from Mama Loves You GB cross stitch channel. So she every Sunday she puts a video up and normally she will put a free um, cross stitch pattern in each video. Um, I'll put her channel below and you can you can go and have a look. Um, but I think it was oh, what was the name of the designer? It's a really well known one. Liz Matthews? Can't remember, I'll put it in the description box uh, below for you guys. But so this is hand dyed fabric that I did myself. Um, when I dyed it, I knew that I wanted to do this chart with it and I knew um, what colours I wanted to do it in and what it's eventually going to be. So I've finished the stitching. I think it is a 14 count Ada that I dyed myself. So here we go. I really like the mottling that I got on the fabric. So I'm thinking Harry Potter. It says always and when I read it and saw it that's immediately what I thought. I don't know whether, actually I know it's not because it's written on the pattern details that it's not in reference to that, it's in reference to something else. Um, but I'm taking it as that. Um, what I'm going to do is turn it into a long cushion and I'm going to put the brightly cover coloured bubbles around the outside. And then I did another one, which was this one. I just think they're, they're very simple and very quick. I think it was two evenings each and, and they were done. And I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with them. Here we go. So that was those two. And then I did these two, these again were another free pattern. Um, they were on Pinterest and they were like um, a photograph. I think it was actually a knitting pattern because there's loads of Christmas knitting patterns on Pinterest at the moment and they keep popping up my feed. I don't know why because I don't knit, but um, they keep coming up. There's lots of like knitted baubles with sweaters and things on, um, but they can be easily um, converted over to cross stitch. So I made this one. And I used uh, anchor variegated thread. And then here's the other one. And this is a 32 count linen. Um, I forgot what the colour is called now. I'll put it below what the colour is. It's very nice and I think they look really nice. I'm going to... When I first started them, I thought I would do Christmas cards, which I still could do. They take, I think, it was about an evening each to do. Um, and I can do a few more. I've got 
plenty more fabric. And then I had the idea of making little gift pouches and putting some purple fabric around it and little gift pouches for um, chocolates or something. So I'm not 100% sure, but I do like them. And I will be giving them away as part of Christmas gifts. And I'll probably make some more. So that was those. And that was all my finishes. And I think that's the most finishes I've had in a long time. I really enjoyed doing the smalls, just, you know, they were one night, two nights each, and it's, it's really nice to complete something and have that, that sort of satisfaction of it being done. Because uh, a lot of my projects are quite big, uh, they're not as big as some people's, um, who do the, the really big heads and stuff, but um, they are quite big, some of them. So it was nice to, to have some small ones uh, completed. And then I had a new start. So I talked about this in my last video. Um, it is the Barbara Anna Let It Snow. There you go, it's focused. And I was doing a colour conversion. So this was a colour conversion I saw a picture of again on Pinterest. There wasn't any details around it but I just sort of chose my own colours which I showed you in my last video and I've had quite a big start on it really well big for me um, so this is where I've got to so this it's two pages so this is one page and then you've got the finishing of the scissors and all of the there's a lady and birds and things um, and it's really coming along I've decided to do it on 32 count um, antique even weave and that's why I changed the colours, um, antique even weave, antique white even weave, um, which is why I changed the colours uh, because the pattern is charted for a grey fabric so you would see the white but you're not going to see the white very clearly on this so my white is now blue and some of the other colours are different because I wanted them to be more vibrant than the ones in the pattern. But I really enjoy it. I loved doing this and this, when this took shape, was really nice to stitch. This bit, just black. <laughs> but the swirly bits were really nice. Amma trees. So it's coming along. And that's it. That is everything I have stitched on in the last, I would say, 10 days. Which I'm feeling quite good about, really. It's, it's yeah. I have had a stitchy bug. Um... It's quite cold in the UK at the moment, so I've been sat on the, so uh, the sofa with my hot water bottle and a blanket and stitching away, really. Um, so that's that. So we shall move on to the giveaways. The giveaways from last time. So, we had Bake, which is a kitcheny sort of pattern. Um, it's just the chart. And who won that one? So that was uh, Corrine Brewbaker. I'll put a picture here of the comment and the name of the person. Um, if you could email me, I'll put my email address uh, for the channel in the uh, description box below and I will send this out to you. And the next one was Cascade, which is a lovely one. It's a full coverage one. And a lady called Natalia Maero Silla Silva. Natalia Maero Silva. Um, if you could email me and I will get that sent out to you as well. So that was those. We're on a roll. We're getting there. We're flying through it. Um, I've got a giveaway this week. Sorry about that, I just had a phone call and I recorded on my phone, so I had to stop it. And now my tripod stand thing is going like this, and I can't seem to stop it. It's slowly cutting my head off. Let me just see if I can fix that. <laughs> there we go, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see how we go. No, no, it's still going down. I think that's sorted now, but you might be a bit on the squint now, but I don't want to touch it again in case it starts moving again. <laughs> so I'm going to go with this. <laughs> Where was I? I think 
Yes, I think I know where I was. Giveaways, that's what I was, that was what I was doing. So I've got a chart to give away. It's a bit of a different one. This was, um, it was actually something that my, my parents bought back um, when they visited San Francisco. Um, I was going to do it and then decided not to do it and then my mum was going to do it and then she decided not to do it and I don't think I'm ever going to do it so and she's not going to do it so I'm going to give it away because I think it's a it's style that a lot of people will like um, I'll show you it now so it's called Alamo Square San Francisco it's just the chart and it's from the Victorian Cross Stitch of the Month Club uh, there's lots of them. I'm sure you can still get them. I haven't googled it or anything but um, yeah so it's from the Victorian Shoppy. Um, if this is something that you would like then if you just put Victoria in, well Victorian, I'll put the caption on the screen here, um, Victorian in the comments and I'll do the random thingy-majiggy and you could get this. Please be a subscriber and please be over 18 so that I can post this out to you. Okay, that's that one. I think the only thing I've got left to talk about is plans. Um, I'm going to continue working on my Barbara Anna because I'm really enjoying this at the moment. I think I'm going to finish off the scissors and then do a few more of the bits around it. And then on Wednesday, during a Zoom call, I'm going to start uh, the Merabilia Princess Elena. Elena. Um, I haven't got the fabric for my gnomes yet. I'm still still thinking about it. Um, I was hoping that there'd be some Black Friday sales to take advantage of. And I think uh, Lakeside, um, Lakeside Needleworks are doing 15% off their fabric at the moment. Or is it 10%? So there's a few quid off. I am tempted. I think it finishes very soon. Um, so I might get that. I might have a quick look on eBay and see if there's any bargains on eBay. Because um, I would like to start them in December. I've gone from not starting anything to trying to fi finish off my um, whips to starting all the things. <laughs> Which, you know, it's quite nice. I quite like it because I've got quite a few things finished and, you know, in my head. That feels like progress. Um, that's all good. I think that's it. That's, that's all. This is a quick one, and uh, I think we're all done. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys. So if you want to leave some comments or email me, tell me what you're doing, uh, what projects you've worked on, that would be great. And uh, we can have a chat. So I think that's it. That's all I've got for today. So have a great stitchy week, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.